First up this evening, the decision to put an administrator on leave appears to have triggered a teacher sick out at One Valley High School. The principal of Horizon High School is on leave right now after a sexually explicit book was assigned as part of an AP English class. And that could also be the reason why there were so many subs on campus today. Spencer Blake is live. So how did this all start? So Nicole, some AP students had the option of reading the book in question as part of their summer reading assignment. But earlier this month, a parent complained when he found out that a section of the book had very graphic descriptions of pornography and bestiality. So You've Been Publicly Shamed was not on the school district's list of approved literature. While advanced placement teachers do have some leeway to select books that aren't on the list, they're supposed to notify the school and parents. That's a porn shoot, I think. Tom Morton, father of a Horizon High School junior, says that never happened with the book that includes a chapter with very sexually explicit content. The book is so egregiously inappropriate to assign to children. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to believe that it was unintentional. Since Arizona's family first aired a story about the book in early November, Horizon's principal has been put on leave. Morton says that's a fair move on the district's part. But on Tuesday, the last day of class before Thanksgiving, 34 teachers were not at work, almost a quarter of Horizon staff. Some students think it was a show of support for the principal. I don't believe that any of them really did anything wrong. Uh, in letting us read this book. Because the book discusses a theme of cancel culture, some students say what happened to the principal is ironic. I do think it's an overstep. I do think it's unfair because these classes that the teachers are being taken out of are AP classes and it's really hard to find substitutes. Meanwhile, Paradise Valley Unified has an action plan. It says it will reinforce policies that require parent notification of unapproved books. The district also plans to review all books that are on the current AP list and all books that were previously approved. It's just been very scary because I, for one, am not for book banning. Um, we shouldn't have censorship in that sense. Now we should also note that the superintendent of the district did email parents and acknowledge that the book was inappropriate. He also apologized for it. Live in Northeast Phoenix, Spencer Blake, Arizona's Family.